Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Katie, I'm a full-time mixed media artist, and today I want to talk about what happens when you lose inspiration for your work. So at the moment I'm doing a 100 day daily art challenge, and last year I did a full year daily art challenge. So I do create practically every day, I do have a few days off at the weekend, but I really wanted to talk about what happens when you inevitably do lose your little spark of inspiration. It's totally normal when you're doing a daily art challenge or if you're just creating a lot in general or even when you're not. Just as an artist I think it's really common to lose that inspiration and so I really wanted to open up the conversation about it today. Last week I had a really positive week. I had loads of ideas and I couldn't wait to get to my desk to create them. My sketchbook work came really easily and it didn't feel like I had to force my creativity. Whereas this week, it's definitely felt the opposite. I've really not felt like drawing. I really haven't known what to draw. And even when I did find a reference, it kind of felt like a struggle just to sit at my desk and create. And I really want to normalize that feeling. I absolutely love my job and I love creating and painting and creating art and sharing it online. But it also comes with a lot of pressure and it's totally normal to not want to do it sometimes. Even if you have the best job in the world, there will still be days where you don't want to turn up to it. And so I think normalising this feeling, especially because of social media, is really important. On social media, I think it's really easy to see or think that things come really easily. You might see Instagram artists creating all of the time, and I think Instagram sometimes lacks that context. I'm really grateful to be able to share my journey on YouTube and I am trying to be very honest in my captions so that when I am feeling a bit uninspired that I share that with my audience. Because without that I think it looks like I just create and I don't have any difficulties and that's absolutely the opposite of the truth. So like I said, this week I was feeling very uninspired and I've been feeling like it's been a bit of a battle to create. So for today's piece, which is day 39 of the Daily Art Challenge, I wanted to just focus on texture. I really just set aside some time to play in my sketchbook. I was trying not to worry about the end result because there's that extra pressure on a Daily Art Challenge, which I'm trying to constantly fix or amend in my head that it has to be good. Because the whole part and point of my daily art challenge at the moment is to create because I want to play and I want to grow as an artist. And I named the challenge 100 Days of Sketchbook Play because that's what I want to lean into. I want to find the little sparks of joy and not necessarily create good art. And that's a whole other topic in itself, but I just wanted to play. So I really leaned back into my purpose for today's daily art and I worked out that I just wanted to enjoy myself and so I got loads of dry media out onto my desk. As you can see here I'm using brush pens, so both Ecolines and Tombows. And then I also got out my Pan Pastels, Neo Colours and lots of different coloured pencils as well. And I just got them all out and were, I wasn't sure how I was going to use them all but they were ready to go. So I started on this one by putting down all of the base colours and blocking out all of the shapes with the brush pens. As with most of my work, I'm coming in and out with the different mediums, but for the first base layer, I'm just using brush pens here, and then I do come back in later with a bit more. I'm blocking out a little area at the bottom there for a table, but I actually decided not to do that in the reference, and so I'm covering that up with some of the green brush pen but I will link the reference down below if you're interested in drawing it as well. I found this one on Google Maps, which is a really great place and resource to go if you are a bit stuck for what to do. I just did a random pin drop on Google Maps and found this on Street View. And I have got a YouTube video all about finding references on Google Maps and MapCrunch on my channel, so I will link that up in the cards and in the description box below. So this has been a new technique I've been working with lately and I have recently done a video all about pan pastels with mixed media. And this one was slightly different because I didn't fully cover the background with the brush pens. So it definitely didn't work as smoothly as I wanted it to, but the pan pastels really help add in another layer of texture. And obviously texture is what I was trying to go for here. 
So I'm coming in with a few different shades to add some more colours and really blend in those lines from the brush pens. I found with this one I had to really trust the process and I think that's even more important when you are feeling uninspired. It can take a lot just to show up at your desk and want to start creating and I think that's half the battle sometimes. A lot of the time I will spend like an hour debating and trying to decide what to draw and then I'll only actually want to draw or be drawing for 10 minutes and that can be quite frustrating as an artist and as someone who is trying to combat that need of always being productive all of the time. But I think it's important to have these days where it doesn't come easy. And I know that sounds a bit counterintuitive, but I really think it's impossible to be inspired all of the time. And what I've been learning over the past few months, especially when I'm doing this daily art challenge, the new one where I'm focusing on play, is that it's important that your brain rests. The last few months I haven't been super productive and I'm trying to be okay with that because I'm constantly reminded that we can't be on as artists all of the time. These months or days where you're not feeling inspired is just as important as the days where you are, simply because I think it gives your brain some time to recover. I think it's really draining if you are trying to create something amazing every single day and it's just not possible. So firstly, allowing yourself the understanding that you won't be creating something amazing every day and that you won't feel inspired is a huge way off and kind of gives you a permission slip in your brain that it's okay to have difficult days. And then secondly, I think our brain is actually doing work behind the scenes. So like last week, I had that really positive week and I was creating lots of lovely things. This week, although I'm finding it more difficult for the inspiration to come, I think my brain's kind of processing last week and so it's more, I'm seeing it more as like a roller coaster. So at the moment I'm riding it in a bit of a low, a bit of a dip, whereas last week I was on a high. I think that having this low week or however long it lasts allows my brain to really take what I learned last week and then I'll be able to apply it in the future. So I'm kind of seeing it as a rest period. I don't know how long I will feel this uninspired and some days I'm sure I'll have that pop of inspiration and burst of motivation and then the next day it will have gone again. But it's kind of just accepting that that's the way my brain's working at the moment and I do really believe that this period of rest and feeling uninspired is just as important as the inspired areas of my work. Just like with physical jobs we need time to rest and I think that's the same with our creative muscle. We are obviously trying to use it as much as we can but forcing it doesn't always work and sometimes it just doesn't flow and even as a professional full-time artist I think it's really important to share that I have days like this and weeks like this and it's totally normal so obviously because I am a full-time artist and this is my job and because I'm doing the daily art challenge I am pushing through these moments where I'm feeling uninspired and I think working through it is definitely a helpful thing because even if you're creating things you might not be pleased with your brain's still working through all of those feelings from days where you were feeling inspired and actually I think creating work that maybe you're not happy with is still just as useful as the good art so even if you are feeling uninspired if you create and push through that your brain might have learned like a tiny technique in that piece of art that will come through in maybe some of your more inspired work a few months down the line. So I don't think any artwork is bad, so if you are feeling uninspired, I would recommend trying to push through that if you can. Obviously, taking a break is really important, and I definitely don't want to push that aside. I think if you need a rest, then take a rest. But I also think that there's something in pushing through and doing it anyway, because if I took a rest, then I feel like I just wouldn't come and sit down at my desk. When I wasn't doing the daily art challenge, I didn't prioritise creating artwork, and so I didn't create. Whereas forcing myself to do it is really helping me grow as an artist. I'm pushing through these uncomfortable feelings and feeling uninspired a lot, and I'm still creating, and I think that's really important to grow as an artist. So I hope that all made sense. I know that was kind of a big ramble, but it's something that I really believe. And I just wanted to share how I'm feeling and really normalise that being uninspired is totally normal as an artist. And I think it's a conversation that we all need to have. 
And I'd love to open up the conversation down in the comments below about your thoughts on this. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this one come together. I was actually really pleased with it by the end. I'm really pleased I pushed through and trusted the process because I think a lot of this texture is really nice and I'm actually really pleased with it. So I hope to speak to you all in the comments and I will see you next Sunday with a new YouTube video. See you later.